All right, so I actually found where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be right down here. Ow, did I fall past it? Shit, where am I? It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Hopefully I didn't just screw up. Do not have my torch out though, so... That's unfortunate. Okay, that's not lit, so at least, at least that part is new. Where's the flame butterfly? Did something just drop on me? Yes, it did. Screw you, buddy. Get out of here. I'm trying to light my torch. Oh god, is that the big guy? It is! Oh, fuck you! No! Get out of this man! Get oh my god, I almost fell- I almost jumped off a cliff. Ow! No likey, by the way. Just so you know. I do not approve of this behavior. All up in my biz. Get the hell out of my neighborhood. It's mine. It's my spot now. I claim it for myself and me and no one else. Jesus Christ. I got stuck in the menu for a second. They're trying to get out of it. Uh, flame butterfly. Chow. There we go. So I'm up. I'm up by the bridge that I died in, in the first place, and I dr you jump off that one corner and you get down here and hopefully, there I get access to stuff from here. Definitely new stuff to light. I saw a new torch over here. Hello, torchy. Burn. I just wanted to find the zip line because I figure if I go through this area twice, I should really find this one detail. It'd, be, it'd suck to go through this- oh wow, Titanite Chunk. That's not a terrible upgrade to have in the area this early in the game. Nice little item to accumulate. So I guess the only option now is to drop down? Hello. Please don't- please don't collapse, floor. You look kind of flimsy and I don't, I don't like that. The cool thing is that this is going to be even more map that I can light up. Is he going to get up? I'm really hoping he gets up so I can kill him. There we go. I could have killed him with binoculars, I suppose, but it's just easier when you can lock on. There we go. So what do we have here? We have some pots and another statue. Let's screw up some pots by rolling. And this tattered cloth. Okay, is there anything else I can do here? Or do I have to just go on that one ledge? I guess I just take that ledge and pray. Oop. So where am I now? There's a ooh, ladder. And a chest. This is all new for me. Come on, guys. Come at me. Please stand up. I have to wait for you to get up. Oh my god, there's a guy behind me. Get up, get away. No likey. Where are you even... I don't even know where you guys come from half the time. Please don't kill me, chest. Not a trap, okay. It gets so dark when I try to open chests. Ring of the evil eye. I think I already I already have a plus one of that. Maybe even a plus two. That ladder probably takes me where I want to go, but let's light this torch. And, uh oh, bad guy. Fuck you. Get out of my game! Oh, where are you? Stop it! Go away! All of you! Hey, it's another hanging guy. So here we are, on yet another quadrant of the area lit up, so... There's just so many, so many lit torches everywhere. I like the look of it a lot. It also gives you a nice sense of completion, like you're accomplishing something as you go through here. When ultimately you're just killing a bunch of undead and they're all gonna come back anyway. There was a little ledge up there that I might have been able to stand on. When I first fell off the cliff, I fell a little further than I think I meant I meant to, so I probably missed something. But where am I? Oh my god, he's waiting for me. Go away. No, bad. Terrible manners. Screw you. Screw you, buddy. Is there a lot? No, can't pick up the other one. Prisoner's hood. Probably useless. Probably already have tons of those, but whatever. And soul of a proud knight. That's not a that's not a horrible soul, although consumable souls that aren't called, like, of the hero or something like that are pretty not great for me at this point. Once you're around level 150 or above, those kind- the smaller souls just don't do much for you. Oh, this is cool. Oh! Oh my god, it's a mummy! No! There's another one of you? Screw you! Die! Where the fuck did you- Stop it! Stop doing that! You guys are horrible! No! So this is cool, this might be the highest torch I've encountered so far in the entire map. It's, it shows how much progress I've made through this area that I'm lighting torches that are actually higher up now. And there's the zip line, which takes me somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. It's on top of that ladder though, and there's a platform down here though, do I want to explore that? I guess I'm doing it now. Where does this platform take me? There's a poison asshole? There's a platform over here. Item! Found an item. And also this stuff over here. Where am I now? Oh hey, there's a ladder. Okay, so I'm back up here. Definitely want that item. How do I get to it though? Okay. Careful. <sighs> oh my god, I fell so fast. 
That's not... Well, how the fuck do you get to the item? That's hard. Okay. Let's try to land properly this time. This is where I was supposed to land, but does that actually help me get anywhere? Maybe not. Maybe that was point... Uh, where did you come from? Hello? I'm here to extinguish all forms of life? Why is there still more life? Is there an, did I just see a, an item over there? No? I could be crazy. Are these destructible? No, they're not. I feel like I should be able to get in there, but I guess not. Oh well. Give me your items! Oh yes, more torch. I'm needing that because I'm using a lot of torch here. I guess I'll just take that ladder back up. There must not be much more around here. Up we go! So I, I think I'll just take that zip line at this point. I think I've exhausted most of the area. There is that one item on that little ledge there, but... I don't want to do an entire cycle through the area again just, try, just to try to get it again. Didn't seem very accessible at that point. So here we are. It's the ladder. So we can see where the zip line takes me, because I actually am not sure. Here we go! Please don't break halfway through and kill me! I'll never use one of these in real life because they terrify me! Okay. I acted like I was still on the zip line with my voice for way longer than I was actually on it. So here's another torch to light at least, so completionism there. There's a room with a- is that a torch? So I've been down there already. So let's do a quick look around to see if anything new is here. There's a rope bridge that I've already lit up, so that's a previous area. Other half is lit up too. That must be the bridge that I... Is that the bridge I died on already? I don't know, but it's lit up, so it's, it's somewhere I've been before. I guess I'll just jump down that hole now. Was oh, it a ladder? No, it's not. It's just a hole. Alright, so wish me luck. Where am I now? I do not have any idea where I am. At all. Huh. I am now confusing myself with my own explorations. Down we go. Oh, he's climbing up at me. Stop it. So I've been I've been here before, so I'm just going to jump cut back to where I was at the bottom of the pit because I think we can go ahead and just continue from that point at this point. Cuz this is all this is all just going to be more of what you've already seen. Oh my god. Where did, what? Holy shit, there was a red one. I got attacked by a red mummy. Well, Thanks for that! Alright, I'm back in the pit where these, uh, these here creepy heart containers were. And there's a horn being honked outside because someone's a dick. So let's go die here, I guess. Fragrant Branch of Yore! Yay! That means I can go down that whole path that eventually leads to Freya because I can get that pyromancy vendor unfrozen. Which means I can continue to ignore the, uh, place that people always say is the right place to go first. I could freaking go to, uh, if I really want to, I could go to the, uh, forest of the fallen giants last. Yeah, how about that little tomatoes? I don't know why it has to do with tomatoes. Hey! Bonfire! Now I have to be careful here because I was one- I once was trying to farm for resources and oh, I, oh yeah, we're now that we're in, now that we're all the way down here. I actually don't need to use. Uh, oh, I, I should actually rest for hit points. Now that we're all the way down here, I actually don't need to uh, use my f torch as much because everything's glowing. But I have to be careful because I once used a bonfire aesthetic in this area, either this part or the second half, to make all the enemies respawn because they were dropping a resource that was good for upgrades, and I didn't know at the time that bonfire aesthetics carry over to the next playthrough. So. Either this part or the second half of the area is actually level 3 fires instead of level 2. Let's go ahead and destroy everything here with my shitty S-Stock that I don't care about anyway. Because I don't want to get perpetually poisoned while- Ow! Dick. You guys are literally the worst. Because relatively strong Cthulhu creatures come out of these holes. You can kind of- Ah, no! I got poisoned? Well, I guess I should- If I was smart, I would be equipping the poison curing item. That's the wrong slot altogether. Oh god, what is it? Poison moss. There we go. Let's just be smart about this. I might as well drink at this point. Okay. Leave me alone, dumbass statues. No one likes you. Your terrible art- Ah, stop it. 
Here we go. Oh, jeez. Get away, get away, get away. These guys are bad because if you're, if you're near the hole when they attack you, the, oh, wow, I am strong against these guys. I thought that... I, I don't know have anything to, to base this on, but just their, gen, their general Cthulhu-like uh, appearance and, in, and potential... Oh, God. Get out of here! Okay. Let's just go ahead and heal real quick before everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. Horribly wrong? What is English, anyway? I'm out of range, apparently. Please die. Thank you. Anyway, they, they seem all Cthulhu-y, so I thought they'd be resistant to dark. I was apparently based on nothing. I'm apparently wrong about things. But anyway, I definitely don't want to be near them when they get out, because they, if they grab you... As far as I can tell, they one-shot you. I've never survived being grabbed by one of these guys before. So you definitely don't want to be near them when they get out. Ow! Which, is, which I think is the only time they do that grab. Once they're out of the pit, I think they just beat the crap out of you, which is also dangerous and damaging, but not nearly so much. Hey, look, it's a, that, that guy just got eaten. Oh, he's getting back up. Oh, he's got more resistance to damage than I do, I guess. I didn't know you could survive that. Hi, assholes. I guess you're just going to try to attack me while I open this chest, aren't you? No? You guys are done? I wonder how these I wonder how these things work. Maybe they're just Maybe they're just motion activated. Like, maybe they only get triggered as you walk past them and if you just stop moving in front of them, they stop trying to try and shoot you. I don't know. All I know is I'm sick of them shooting me. Dicks. Well, this is a great chance to use my AoE ability for fun. Hey asshole, how you doing? You're fucked. Bye-bye to all your hit points. Bye-bye to all your hit points. It's nice to be able to use one of these cool looking abilities for once. Ow! Am I dying? Oh crap, I'm still poisoned. That poison was really long lasting. Hey look, I just got a hex from that. Neato. I'm being rel I'm being pretty reckless with my usage of- Ow, a torch. Cool. Scrap and scraps of life. More hexes. Uh oh. Hey guy. I'm being pretty reckless with my use of Estus flasks and hexes right now because I know there's another bonfire. Which I didn't know the first time I played this area, but I know now, so it's not such a big deal to just go through this area and just... Oh, please don't hit me. That's the most dangerous thing he does, is when he, he comes bursting out like that, that could actually be bad juju. Man, being able to just hex the hell out of these people is way more effective than trying to melee them to death. They take forever to kill normally. So let's be careful here, because any of these pits could have a monster in them, but I, I don't think all of them do. You're pissing me off, nature. Not nature. That's n there's nothing natural about that. I don't know why I called it nature. Those are clearly horrifying statues of creepy obsession. The Va Vati Vidya, in his videos, hypothesizes that, uh, and this is probably just using someone else's hypothesis, but still, uh, that these are all based on... that all these statues are based on the, the green... the Emerald Herald. There we go. The guy, the lady that levels you up, which is... Essentially, this game's version of the Maiden in Black. They th he thinks... I think he I think he said something along the, along the lines of, like, she probably sent someone down here, and just like me, but that person failed on their mission, and has been down here obsessing over her. Maybe out of spite, maybe out of love, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is they're creepy. And that... and maybe that person... Maybe that person even became the rotten... No, that doesn't make sense. That person couldn't have become the rotten one, because... That'd, that'd be the whole reason that they were sent down here in the first place. Well, I'm taking damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get to this pit. Ow, dick. I'm just gonna go for the, uh, bonfire over here, so I stop using items to heal myself. Please do not die while I'm- okay, I'm, I made it. <laughs> I thought that I was gonna die while trying to use the bonfire. So that's a good time to use a human effigy to become human again and get my whole health bar back. And also, because Lucatiel's right- oh, that probably wasn't her, that was probably- That was probably just some player, huh? Pharos Lockstone! Lucatiel, where are you? Lucatiel? I would like to complete Lucatiel and whoever the Moon- Moonlight Greatsword character is. Uh, I whoever that is. I would like to complete both of their quests in this playthrough if I can. Which can be hard, because you need to make the three of- You need to make both of them survive three out of four boss encounters that they can possibly be summoned in. Which means you have to A, summon them, and B, uh, not have them die. 
But I don't see her summoning sign around here at all, which is weird. Huh. Maybe it's because I haven't talked to her anywhere else. Like, maybe the game considers this as me playing air stuff out of order. And thus won't let me do the uh, quest chain. That's a bummer. Well, can't dwell on this forever. Maybe if I was playing the game in the most perfectly linear way possible, then she'd be summonable. But apparently she's not going to be here, so I'll just have to adapt. Okay, so... I'm not sure what my strategy here is going to be. I have good AoE abilities, so if I can get behind them, if I can get behind the boss and use Darkstorm, I might be able to do a lot of damage, but I, the, I might not ever, he might not ever, not ever be vulnerable long enough for that to work. For now, I'll just be ready for Dark Orb, I guess. Okay, here we go. Hi, Rodden. No. Bad Rodden. I don't like it. Go away. Anyway, I never noticed this till a video pointed it out to me. But if you look at this top, his top, his, uh, what is it, his left shoulder, which is on the right from my perspective, uh, there's a little person there. And he, every single motion that he makes kind of mimics that. It's almost like he's a puppet or something. Fuck you. Let's see if I can be do something reckless and stupid. Nope. What's he doing? Okay, that's a great time to do AoE, probably. Maybe. Let's get out of here. Okay, wow, that this... Ooh, no grabby. I don't like being grabbed. Alright, so that... Ow. Okay, so... If I get this AoE going, this is definitely... Okay, yes, keep puking. This... Oh god, he's already moving again. I thought he was going to be stuck for longer. Fuck you! So the AoE is way, does way more damage than individual dark... Dark whatever's... Uh, dark orbs? I'm bad at thinking about names and stuff when I'm in melee range. But Screw you, buddy. Uh, if he keeps meleeing, though, then I'll never have time to use my ability. Is he gonna puke again? Ow, he's swimming. I mean, not swimming, swiping. Please, please puke. Puke again! At least I can block his attack. Really well, actually, too. You, gonna, you ever gonna puke again? If you don't puke again, I'm just gonna start shooting at you, I guess. With other abilities. No! Please go back to puking. I liked it better when you were puking. Oh, no. Nope. All right, I guess, I guess I'll just get back to shooting with Dark Orb whenever I see an opening. Because nothing else is working right now. Fuck you. That does not do a lot of damage. I don't like... This, this is going to take forever if I keep using this ability. But especially if I have to be able to dodge. Ow. I am not dodging on time. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? No! Okay, he's sort of punching the ground over there. I got you! Good. Got you! Alright, this is taking a while, but I'm doing well so far. He's punching nothing over there, so good job for him. Maybe he can't see. He is made of entirely of bodies. Ah, uh, scraps of life. No, I'm... Oh, crap, I might have just blown it. Uh, no, 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 no! Okay, I still made it. Things went okay. Uh, yeah, that does so much more damage, I might as well just wait for an opportunity to use this. Instead of even bothering with my other melee attack- my, uh, one-shot attacks. Wow, is he almost- he's almost dead already. He's dead, that was it. Wow, Scraps of Life is devastating. If I fight up- and there, there you go, Soul of the Rotten Soul, the Dead One. Supposedly the Soul of the Dead One- or the- I mean the Dead One Soul is the soul of Gravelord Nito. Or at least that's what people think it is. Which might explain a few things. Please jump across the hole without dying. Okay. That hurt. Fire seed. So you can upgrade your pyromancy flame. I think I already finished doing that though. Ow. Dick. The, the uh, previous Dark Souls 1 had four great souls and this one has four great souls. So supposedly the four great souls are 
sort of one for one with each other. So they think people think that the dead one's soul represents Grave Lord Nito. And like they think that Seath's soul is on the Freya and stuff like that. And like 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 he's some sort of like maybe the spider's even some sort of crazy experiment result. Open for me. Thank you, I guess. Sublime Bone Dust. I'll be sure to use that. I don't think I can actually upgrade my Estus in any way. I think I might have maximum power and quantity at this point. Well, here we go. If I ever fight a boss that leaves me with bigger openings for vulnerability, I would love to use Darkstorm against them because I think it's a much more powerful spell, actually. But the problem is, look at this. I'm stuck in that pose for a long time. I need to have, like, a solid, like, three to five seconds of safety if I'm going to use this spell on someone. Otherwise, Scraps of Life is definitely the way to go, because it's one quick spell, and then you can move again while it keeps going. And I actually love that. It's actually, it's a fun spell to use, like, if you're being chased, to, like, run away and cast more, because people that are following you have to follow you through the line of AoE, which they might not get hurt by because it's kind of random and doesn't hit every single spot, but it's pretty thorough. So it's fun to use, and definitely worked against that boss for sure. I do get a kick out of the fact that so far I've had no trouble with the two bosses I've fought, but I've died several times between the two. <laughs> oh well, on to the next area. One of the four great souls is already claimed. You will lose everything. 